Hello everyone, my name is Ayush and I am a content creator and today I am going to make my first ever tutorial on After Effects and there is a reason why I am making this tutorial is because I really like the transition from the Ben TK video and you can find it on the YouTube called Europe and there is one specific tutorial that's called Gate Open Transitions and I really tried hard to find something like this, some tutorials like this on YouTube but I couldn't find any so I decided to make it by myself. So this is my first ever tutorial. So guys, go easy on me and <laughs> let's jump into the system and see how it goes. And I'm also planning to make uh, others cinematic and travel uh, tutorials, transition tutorials in the future. So you can stay tuned. You can subscribe to my channel and I will try to make it more easy as possible. So let's jump into the system and see how it goes. So the first thing we open After Effects and we import our clip. I have already imported my clip and already make a <clears throat> composition so let's see if you can see my clip this is a perfect clip for the door open transition as the door is in the center right now so yes this is a perfect clip. the very first thing that we do on this clip is we do a time remapping so right click on the layer right click on the footage enable time remapping so Let's do it like this. Let's see how it looks right now. I think you need a bit more. Okay, looks perfect. So the very first thing that we will do is we will split this layer around the time where we will start our door open transition. And I guess this looks fine like this. So I will split this layer, Control shift d perfect and I will duplicate this layer, Control d perfect. So on the top layer, what we are going to do, we are going to create a mask. So we will take a pen tool here and we will make a mask here, One, two, three, four, and okay so now you can see we have created a mask over the door and we don't use the mask feather because we need it very sharp when the gate is opening it should be looking like very normal very genuine so right now i'm not taking any mask feather but we'll see if we require any mask feather uh later then we can add it later so it's fine so uh let me adjust this mask a bit perfect uh no it's on the wall guys take some time while you are doing the masking because this is a very crucial part of this uh, transition okay so i will go frame by frame so i will go the first frame looks nice just need to edit here Okay, now you can see we have masked out our whole footage like this. Now what we will do is we will close it down and we will take a duplicate layer of our mask one. So control D right now and the first the first layer that we have taken we need to delete it because we just took it for the reference otherwise the screen will look uh, black under the mask so i will delete this and here in this mask what i will do i will do inward so perfect go here let me zoom in perfect so uh the reason i duplicate this uh, footage this layer is the mask will automatically come on our top layer from the previous one like this i'll show you here we have the mask already 
and we have a mask path already like this so it's very time saving you can use it like this way or if you want uh, you can make a new layer you can duplicate the layer and do the mask path again but for me it's very time based okay so what we need to do is we need to enable 3d to open this gate on the topmost layer here to enable the 3d we have these toggle buttons you can see this is a 3d click on this 3d layer and now you will find the uh, this layer turns 3d now you can adjust however you want so i will go here on the transformation perfect what i'm gonna do here is uh, i will start making a keyframe on the y rotation on the positions and the scale perfect we'll go up so now in the preview section uh, we will go frame by frame to open our gate so let's start from here we go one frame two frame and we will adjust this axis y axis perfect looks nice now again one two frame then i will do it again wow so we need to adjust the positions as well so right now we can see the gap here what we're gonna do we're gonna adjust the position perfect now let's go again to frame let's open it more perfect let's adjust the position let's go two more frames let's do it more the reason why i'm going uh, two frames every second it's just like it the gate will open in a motion it will not look like very ugly so you can try it you can try if one frame you can try two frame what i personally like is a two frame editing so right now we can see there is a gap between here between the gate and the wall so let's adjust this let's go two frame again position perfect let's open a bit more perfect one two uh let's open a bit more and go here and now you can see the gate looks a bit bigger than its frame so you can adjust the scale we have already make a uh, <coughs> my bad toggle keyframe on the scale section on the very starting of this clip so we can adjust it here now it looks fine we go two more frames and you can see perfect let's open a bit more and it just two more frames let's adjust a position one frame now i will go one frame as soon as the door open transition is coming closer to the screen i will switch from two frames then uh, to the one frames now and let's do like this okay one frame one more frame okay so here we can adjust the axis of the gate as well to look it more natural perfect let's adjust here as well perfect okay let's adjust it here and open a bit more adjust it here and this is the last frame let's adjust here a bit more and open a bit bit more perfect Go to the last frame and we can play with the keyframe a bit to look it more natural and now we will uh, throw it out of the frame like this so what happened here we have completed our door open transition i will give you a preview slowly it looks like this wow 
it's very easy guys you just need a small practice to do so and here you can see and you can you will find some p frames where you will find a gap here all you need to do is double check if the position is set on every keyframe that's what i'm doing here and for sure you will find some keyframes that were not adjusted like this so let's adjust it a bit to look it more natural more more just this frame perfect guys every frame matters don't think like if we are speeding up the video nobody will notice the single frame every frame counts guys perfect so so far our video is ready and remember this is the stop layer here in the mask section it will not be inverted only the below one will be inverted I will show you I will click on here just to show you here in the mask section you can see the inverted clip it will always be the downward one okay so now our gate open transition is ready but it's still not looking the same as the pen TK so what I'm gonna do here is I will add some motion blur to make it look you know more natural all you need to do is just click here this is a toggle for the motion blur and this is a frame blending so we will use both these toggles on each of our footage okay so you can already see this motion blurring my system is slow so apologies for apology for this so you can see the motion blur here I'll go back frame by frame so at least we can have a good preview So the motion blur is uh, enabled on this clip you can see like this. and underneath this footage you can add another gate open transition footages so you can create a loop or uh, you can be more creative with your footages so that's it guys I tried my best to make it more easy because I couldn't find uh, some tutorial for the gate open transition and on the after effects so I made it by myself I hope you like it and I will try to make more interesting transition tutorials in future so stay tuned you can subscribe to my channel and, and see you in the next video